reason why we're going to study military time is because it's typically used in the hospital settings. This means that it will be part of the word problems that we solve, particularly IV problems. So with military time, rather than having the 12 hours on a clock, we're dealing with 24 hours. We're going to start our clocks at midnight. Midnight is 12 o'clock a.m., start of a new day in the standard time, and it is 0 hundred hours in military time. So let's watch what happens as our clocks cycle through the day. So one hour after midnight, 1 a.m., or 100 hours, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Now wait for it. It's noon. That means that we switch in the standard time from a.m to p.m. Notice not such a big change with the military time. The clock is halfway around, whereas with the standard time we've made a complete rotation. Now we know that the day keeps going into the afternoon, so again we'll watch our clocks and we'll notice something different. On our standard time clock it's 1 p.m., but on our military time clock the clock just kept counting so it went to 13. And this continues, so 2 or 1400 hours, 3 p.m., 1500 hours, and this keeps going as we move through the evening hours. And we're getting closer. It's going to switch from 11 p.m., or 2300 hours, to midnight again. Remember, midnight was the start of the next day, so watch carefully. There it was. We switched our p.m. back to a.m., and rather than going to 2400 hours, we go back to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 hours, start of the next day. Watch it one more time. 11 p.m. or 2300 hours, start of the next day. All right, let's drill down. So we're going to watch it minute by minute. It's 11.55 p.m. or 23.55, 56, 57, 58, here it comes, 59, and it's p.m. in the standard time. It's 23 in the military time, and boom, next day, a.m., oh, one minute into the next day. And we see the zero, zero for the beginning of the next day, rather than continuing to count past 2359. We start over. All right, so let's summarize what's happening. We know there are 60 minutes to an hour, and yet the numbers that we move start at zero and go the whole way up to 59. They don't go to 60. We never write things like it's 3.60 p.m. That's a little bizarre. No, it's 4 p.m. That would be the way we write that. Similarly with the hours, 24 hours in a day, and the numbers go zero to 23. We don't write things like 2400 or 2401. That would be more than a whole day. And so we're going to write it as the next day, 0 hundred hours or the zeros with one minute. We're going to have to convert between the two times, so let's summarize that. In the morning, the AM times, we just need to change our formatting. So 347 AM, 0347. 1015, 1015 AM. In the afternoon, those are our p.m. times, we're going to convert by adding or subtracting 1,200. Let's look at an example. 3.47 p.m., 0.347 plus 1,200 gives us 15.47. And going the other direction, if it's 22.13, we subtract out 1,200 and we get 10.13 p.m. So you can practice several problems doing the conversions in your workbook. The green book has practice problems for you. And make sure that you understand the difference between standard time and military time for your quiz.